don't have a permanent, you know, bruising back. How, how do you replicate that offense with it, without so many replacements? Well, you know, I think the, the good thing about it is we've got a lot of the guys that are playing right now had reps last year. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got to get them all together at the same time. And, you know, Donald's Donald, you get Donald uh, back uh, healthy, full speed. You get Fred Ross back healthy, full speed. And Malik, it's just basically get your guys back, get them healthy. And at the quarterback position, whoever it may be, oh, that you know, obviously you lost a, a great quarterback, and it's just getting those guys reps. No matter what, it's the same question every you know every year, every program. There's going to be a great quarterback, hopefully at, at each program that that's going to end up going on. Somebody has to come in and take his place. Same at the receiver position, same at the O line. But it's just going to be repetition for us. Um, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, the goals that are set and talked about by our red zone percentage and scoring percentage comes from the top down. You know, Coach Mullen does a great job as far as stressing to the team. Then the coaches stress it, and then the upperclassmen stress it. So it's something we take great pride in. Uh, if you ever come out to uh, practice and see us in, uh, you know, red zone seven on seven, you know, we take great pride at every position. When it's seven on seven red zone, no matter if we get tagged off on the 15-yard line, You'll see receivers or running backs or whoever has the ball in their hands, whether they've ran out of bounds, jump up and sprint back through the end zone just to muscle memory uh, so the players understand how important it is. You talk about injuries, obviously, having to shuffle some guys around. How much of it is it a luxury to have guys like Fred and Gabe Miles and Dedrick that can <clears throat> play inside and outside? Well, you know, we've been banged a little bit, <clears throat> kind of almost every guy you said has been banged at one time or another. but. Um, when you bring them in young, the young guys, and you teach them to learn the formations, and, and again, like I said, the concepts, once the players understand that and they understand how valuable it is for them to have playing time if they learn multiple positions, today we move guys around. Today, uh, you know, Fred played a little bit of both. Uh, I moved Gabe around from one position to the other today. Uh, Dedrick, I moved him around. He wasn't, you know, and that was out there at practice. All of a sudden, hey, boom, move guys around, switch them up positions. Uh, move Jesse inside a little bit. So it's just getting guys repetitions uh, right now this week. Hopefully you make them a little uncomfortable, but at the same time, it's our offense. They should feel comfortable wherever they're at. And uh, But it's good. It's, it's a luxury to be able to have them to do that. Obviously the young guys need to continue to learn.